Hey guys, David Miller here with Gemini Ben. This week's video is going to be a quick tip with IFC files related to rings and spaces and the difference between linking an IFC file and opening or importing the IFC file directly in Revit and the difference that you get with rooms and spaces. So here in this example I have a very basic model with just four rooms. If I select this room here you will see in the properties palette that this in fact is a room. And then we are going to export this so we'll have something to import and show the difference between linking and opening or importing the IFC directly. So now that we have that exported, let's go ahead and start a new project. And we'll choose the mechanical template. So the first method that we'll explore here will probably be the crowd favorite, which is linking. And this is um, very popular because of the ease of updating the IFC file and um, linking it. So we will go to insert link IFC file. We will select what we just exported and then hit open. And what I want to show here is with the linking method, visually everything is coming through, um, but the rooms do not come through as rooms. They come as generic models. And this may be undesirable if you're trying to utilize more of a traditional workflow where as an MEP consultant you may want to align your room and space name using the space naming utility built in Revit. But you can see here that um, we would have no room to align our spaces with. I mean we still have the information here but it's a generic model and that may not be desirable for some. So let's go ahead and close that out and then explore the alternative. Do not want to close the project. So in this case we will open that same IFC file directly. And then we'll explore the outcome that we have. We'll auto join. We'll explore the outcome that we get. So now what we have is the IFC file uh, imported or open directly within Revit and we get a uh, different outcome. Um, we actually get the rooms imported in as um, we would want if we're trying to use a traditional workflow where I would align the spaces and, and with the rooms. Um, so that's this week's tip is just you know the difference between um, linking and importing IFC files and how it relates to rooms and spaces and that you might have to strategize your workflow execution of a project whether or not uh, you know what you want to achieve through the project and through the use of an IFC file. So if you guys learned anything, please give me a thumbs up and like always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time guys, thank you so much for watching.